Hi, I'm Carolyn Cole with the Eastern Shoveltown Cultural District. Today we are pleased to have with us Ed Cunningham, who has a, quite a background in art and is the retired head of the art program at Bridgewater Raynham High School, and as well as I understand that you teach in the summer. Uh, past 50 years, I've taught at Camp Kippewa in Winthrop, Maine. It's a girl's camp. That's what's kept me there 50 years. <laughs> and the Christmas card they sent me was unbelievable. I didn't think there were that many kids in the camp. It was down at the waterfront, and there was a uh, polar bear. Uh, somebody in a costume, right. polar bear, and there were campers in bathing suits all the way around. There must have been four or five hundred kids. Wow, so it's a bigger camp than... It's quite a camp. Right. It's probably bigger than Camp Miles Stanish was at it in its heyday. Well, tell me something about... Um we have a painting behind us. Yes. That's one of yours. Is there a title to that painting? Or? That's uh, Island on Lake Sebastia. Now, my conversation is mixing in because here's the camp I just mentioned, and right. here's the island right there. Yep. And I've, I've been there many times. Must have been by it very often. And we're on the opposite side of houses, right out of the, the lake. And I would say that's, I would say, well, quite a distance. And I try to get the effect of the sun at a particular time when it comes right through the trees. Mm -hmm. And you get the color here, color here, so on and so forth. And we always have neighbors and you got to be very careful that you do it absolutely perfect. Otherwise, they'll say, you know, you put too many pine trees on that island. <laughs> no artistic license. No, no. none whatsoever. <laughs> Locked up, yes. Uh, <clears throat> and what medium did you use in this? Uh, acrylics. And does, is that what you prefer? Or do you use? Well, obviously, I used oils at one time. And. Then when acrylics came in, we figured out maybe they won't get so much paint on themselves if we give them <laughs> acrylics instead of oils. And it worked out that way. And I don't see too much of a difference. I think oils can be a little more translucent-like and so forth, but a little more like stained glass, something like yeah. that. I always liked oils because they were very forgiving. You could just, you know, if you made an error, you could just kind of go, let it dry and go right over it or scrape it off. Um, Guess what? You do that with acrylics, too? Oh, I do it all the time, yeah. <laughs> See if you can pick out the spots. You probably no, can. No, I, I wouldn't be able to. Now, I noticed a um, kid will pee into the corner over here. There's a, a lighthouse. And um, is that also Maine, or is that a different? No, that's actually down, down the Cape. That's the light at Nosset, except oh. Except I turn things around in that. I have a reason for it. I have a friend of mine that went to California years ago, but he always loved Cape Cod lighthouses. Mm -hmm. And every summer he comes back for a couple of months. And he gave me a gift. And what he does is like greeting cards or something about the size and draws on it and paints on it. And they come out very nice. So I said, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to reverse it. So the, if someone looked at it, they knew it, the lighthouse very well. They say you get the lighthouse on the wrong side, side. <laughs> and the house on the wrong side. And how in the world is that big wave coming in like that? And it's very peaceful <laughs> a little further out. I was just painting for effect. Yep. You know, and that's what it did. And. And I wanted motion in there, and mm. I think I get that. Yes, I think you do too. Now, um, you you obviously taught art for a long time. Oh yes, and I taught. I had two jobs: head of the art department, 
and uh, football coach. That's kind of a diverse. <laughs> That's what everyone field, says, but you know? I'll never forget uh, this one superintendent. He was having all the superintendents around here uh, come over for something at this. And he came up and said to me, Could you have the kids make little ashtrays so I can pass them out? And I said, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> School superintendent recommending ashtrays. ashtrays. <laughs> Why don't I make a a beer mug? <laughs> he said, no, that's worse. So we found, I finally made a little vase for each one. And the kids. Yeah, well, that worked. A lot Certainly better than did. an ashtray or a beer. Definitely. <laughs> you know, beer mug. And uh, up at the camp, I have about 10, 12 studios. I have anywhere from 10 to 15 counselors and they love it. The parents love it too. Mm. Make a lot of things they can bring home. Well that's nice too. And uh, do you, um, I know you have a background in pottery too. So yes. at the camp do you do a little more of the pottery? Or? We've got six potter's wheels. Oh great. Two kilns. Um, I had to get stop all my clay work because of arthritis. So I sold a lot of the stuff I had to, to the camp. They get a good deal on it, but uh, I didn't want the stuff to just to sit down so right. and I wanted to see it being used. And also you because you're you're kind of in charge there. You're you're kind of like so setting an example. You're teaching and you're, you're helping them develop a, a skill that they wouldn't ordinary, ordinarily have access to. This pottery equipment is very expensive. It certainly is. Yeah. Lot, I, my uh, kiln, I had it for about at least 10 years. And I, it was $500. And when I resold it, I sold it for $500. And the woman who ran the camp says, she, you, you really did us well. We paid 1500 for that one over there, and it's the same size. So I said, oh well, and uh, by the end of the summer, guess which one was working beautiful without any problems? <laughs> the older one. Mine. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's usually the way it goes. Yeah. And I noticed, too, that you focus a lot on landscapes. That tends to be what you... you kind of attracts your attention? I did Outdoors, see, yes. Yeah. I know yes. you have some still lives that are beautiful, but I think that landscape is. And does she, does Nancy, your wife, does she help with the photography? I remember one time you told me that. Yeah, she does, very much so. Well, and she good. said, if you don't paint that, I won't do any more paintings for it. <laughs> and uh, first, oil painting, in high school was um, we could pick what we wanted to paint and pick a picture. So I did the uh, lighthouse down at, uh, what's the name of that lighthouse? Down by uh, the beach that Devon likes. Is it in the Cape? Or? On the Cape, yeah. It's <coughs> lighthouse. Lighthouse here, over here, which sounds like that. Well, there's you know the I mean? bug light, and there's um, if there's a light at Sacredge. No. No. Oh boy. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, anyways, I was very, very pleased with the uh, outcome of it, and. I had it at home for quite some time. Then it was down my parents down at oh down around Fall River, someplace down there, or Westport, Westport. And eventually it ended up with me. And I hadn't seen it in 30, 40 years. It just so happened I was I had a show over in Middleborough, excuse me, <coughs> and 
my niece came to it, and they had, she and her husband had just bought a beautiful place in Fair Haven. So we went to see it, and she said, I want the lighthouse right up here. And I said, you'll have it. Right. And uh, it was so much fun doing that landscape and so forth that I just got stuck in it. And, oh, and this is a story. When I was in the service, I was stationed in Korea, and very strange, a lot of the guys, their parents want them doing something good besides wasting their time at the uh, club that I ran. So I happened to notice, though, they all started working on but they never finished any. So I said, look, don't throw them away. Keep the paint and give me the canvas. I'll use them. So I ended up with oh, several paintings. And I bought some home. I gave some to the fellow that gave me the equipment. And I didn't have that much that I had done at home. And I had an interview with uh, Massachusetts College of Art. It's got a lot more names now, have you noticed? Yes. It's design now, too, yes. which is good. And uh, so I bought some men. And this one woman, God forgive me, but I, the name has gone by. I graduated about 50 years ago. And. Well, we'll forgive you then. Okay. <laughs> I'm lucky I can remember what I did yesterday, so. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they looked at it and everything and so on and so forth. And so they said, we'll inform you if you're accepted. I said, okay. So I go home. It's about May. I get a job working construction all summer, and about a week before Labor Day, I get a phone call from Mass College of Art. Uh, you were supposed to be in here yesterday for, uh, to, to tell you that you're accepted for school. I says, well, too bad nobody told me. <laughs> So they said, well, come on in and bring those paintings in again. We'd like to look at them again. Great. So that's what got me in art school. Yeah, and so you never know. Yeah. You know, something just to keep <laughs> you busy. Doing a painting yeah. by the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met Ed at another show, um, he asked me what, what was my favorite painting. And so I said, I really couldn't tell because I didn't get a chance to really study the work. And there's something about this painting um, that caught my eye. And um, I think it's the, it's the color, but it's also the simplicity of it um, that kind of caught my eye. And Ed, can you tell me something about this? Sure. All right, so we know it's in Maine. No, Massachusetts. Oh, it's in Massachusetts. Lake Sebastia. Oh, Lake Sebastia in Massachusetts, that's right. OK. And. and um, why did you paint it? I mean, what kind of captured your eye? Was it a photograph? Was it? Actually, that's um, quite a mixture. Of, uh, I started off, I was going to do another one of the islands like that with the light coming through. But then I wanted a little bit more, so there's a peninsula coming out right on the uh, left hand side. Right hand, left hand side. And. I don't know how I did it, but I got some of the surface of the water is like a pane of glass. Then over here, there's like some ruts, water ruts. I don't know what, you know. And anyways, that's how come that tree's there. I didn't like the way that came out. And over here, I've got surf. And over there, I've got reflections of light. I just get carried away with things. It's almost like you could say it was an abstract, except it's a painting of something. Right. You agree? Yeah. Good. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you very much, Ed, oh, my for being pleasure. here today. And um, the public is going to be thrilled to see all your work spread out um, that we have in the show today. 
and um, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I, I hope they do, and uh, tell them I'm available. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Remember, okay. it's available. <laughs> Not that way. So stop that. <laughs> Thanks again, Ed. It's been a pleasure to have you here. My pleasure. <laughs>